All right. I don't know. <laughs> this would have to be a long time. Subscribers would might remember this piece of something here. We have no idea what this was for, but it's got all this angle iron and this channel. And they were getting ready to scrap it because it's very heavy. They were getting ready to take it to the scrapyard at work. And I was like, no, <laughs> let me have that. At, so, at some point, I'm going to have a use for this. And sure enough, I'm putting the solar panels back behind the barn. And I'm going to use part of the rack is going to be these two channel pieces here. Um, so I'm going to have this whole thing set up. With no money, just used pieces, blocks and this and a couple pieces of wood. And uh, I'll have my temporary uh, solar rack. So let me get my tools. And you can see, I mean, this has been in here a while. It took me a while to dig it out to remember where I'd put it. But let me get it apart, get the pieces off that I need. And then we'll go from that. So, let me show you my temporary solution here and show you before the other two go up how I plan on doing it. This is that channel that was on that frame I showed you earlier that I got from work. And these blocks are extra blocks Gary had. He brought them out for me. And you can see, once I put the panels in this channel, uh, it raises them up off the ground to where I can mow, I can weed eat under them and behind them without any problems. Snow run off of them if need be. And I can adjust them just by pulling the blocks out some and get them to lay more flat. Um, and I'm going to run a one by four across the back. And then drill holes in it where the holes are in the frame and screw all four of them together. And there is no wind that's going to be able to blow this up, guaranteed. Uh, I mean, I'm going to pull it out probably another 10 inches now because um, I want them to lay a little bit flatter than this uh, for the angle that I need. The sun is directly behind me, as you can see by my shadow. I mean, it's perfect the perfect place back here so that's how i'm gonna get them off the ground that's a quick freebie uh solar rack <laughs> i'll be back so there we go that's where i'm gonna leave it and i'm gonna run these panels in series and then in parallel up into the uh charge controller in the barn these panels i paid $20 for their 102 watt panels, 12 volt, 102 watt. They're what you call new old stock. Um, they're about, I don't know, 10 or 12 years old. And I paid 20 bucks for all four of them. They had the old MC3 connectors on them. So I went in, I did a video showing you how to do it. Uh, let me get one of them. I swapped them out for the MC4s. Uh, man, I love it. But they, uh, the channel, you saw off the old thing I got from work, the blocks, everything <laughs> so far, I've got about $25 in this part of the setup. And the batteries are those uh, DECA batteries I bought used they were $35 a piece I bought off a lady and uh, they work great they'll do what I need the only thing this is for is for uh, 12 volt lighting in the barn and charging up batteries for the tools and stuff like that when I'm working in the barn that's what this is for that's why I said just temporary but this will give me 400 watts uh, to run my lighting with. And the uh, 
I love the way that channel worked out. Just the perfect size. I didn't have to cut it or anything. And I'll shore up the back. And those aren't going anywhere. Those are going to work just great for us. And like I said, I can weed eat under them and behind them without any problems. Great way to do it. These are two 100 amp, uh, 100 amp hour batteries, 12 volt, that I'll be using for here in the barn. And uh, whew, they're heavy. I <laughs> just carried them. Holy crap, are they heavy. And coming up that rickety old bridge there. But uh, yeah, that's going to do all the lighting that I need inside the old barn here. And it'll be cheap enough that, uh, you know, I'm using older equipment. An older, I uh, bought a new charge controller, that's it. I got an old uh, inverter. And everything's going to be DC powered anyway, pretty much. All the lights are going to be DC, 12 volt. But yeah, we're getting the barn going electric now. So this is Joe out here at the barn at St. Bernard Acres. Trying to catch my breath after carrying those things up. Uh, we'll uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, do all those things. And follow along as I put solar power in the barn. I'm out.